Hi, this is Nelly Vielma. I'm an attorney uh, working in immigration and I'm here with my client Maria Rocha. This is a very significant case because Maria and her sister had both come into the country with a visa when they were little. She was eight years old. She came into the country and uh, well, of course, they didn't have status. There was no DACA back in at the beginning of 2012. But uh, the interesting here uh, thing here was at that time, her brother was in federal court, so she and her sister decide to go and see the brother and take some evidence, some documents to the court. Well, the officer at the metal detector at the court did not allow them to uh, go inside a public forum and instead acted like a border patrol, like a checkpoint. So he asked for documents and they didn't have documents, they only had their matricula consular from Mexico. So he decided to detain them. And the circumstances here got very, very difficult for Maria because she had just had a C-section. She had just given birth three days before, had just gotten out of the hospital with the surgery, with the complications. She was breastfeeding her baby. And so uh, please tell us, Maria, what happened that time and, and how did you feel about this whole ordeal? Um, well, I feel it so bad because they don't help you in there. Um, I was telling them that I was feeling pain. And they say that I needed to wait to uh, get to the CCA. And how, what were some of the symptoms that you had? Um, my feet got swollen and I had a lot of pain in my C-section. Okay. And also you were not able to breastfeed? No, I was not able pain. to breastfeed my son for, okay. for those days. Okay. And it was really hard for me. And they didn't offer you a breast pump or anything no, to alleviate nothing, the, nothing. the pain? Okay. And, um, I remember that when we got the call, because we used to be right across from the federal courthouse, we got the Mexican consulate involved, and uh, they uh, they talked to you when you were detained? Yeah, they told me not to sign a paper, um, so I didn't sign a paper, I said I wanted to talk to a judge. Very good. So these are some of the things, the basics, uh, as things continue to happen in, in the same uh, way, you know, uh, what were some of the the things that, that the officers will tell you for you uh, to sign uh, a deportation? That I needed to sign the, the deportation because if not my kids will go with the CCA, with the CPS. And did they tell you like, you know, you will be detained or how? Yeah, that I was going to be detained in the CCA for, for months okay. until I'll get a judge. The judge, was, the judge was taking long right now. So they were trying to convince you yeah, to, to sign, sign the sign. paper. Yeah, paper. but I didn't sign the paper, so I recommend nobody to sign no paper. Very good. And just to talk to a judge, mm -hmm. don't sign, don't don't believe them when they tell you, you know what, um, you're going to go to to jail and you're going to stay there in the CCA for long. No, it's not true. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Yeah, in, in the case of Maria, uh, the the things, the takeaways from this so that you can learn if there's any interaction or, or detention, do not sign any documents. Ask to see an immigration judge. And also, uh, you have a right, if you're in a detention and you're not from this country, you have a right to seek your consulate to come in and give you advice. So, so I'm glad that the consulate was able to assist and tell them simple advice as not to sign a paper. So in, in Maria's case, we had the deportation court in San Antonio, in your sister's case in, in Harlington, nice. Texas. And we were able to terminate proceedings because they're both uh, married to a U.S. citizen. So we had the petition. Once we had it approved, we were able to terminate and then move on with an adjustment of status. So today we had great news for Maria. She is now a legal permanent resident. So here's what we call the green card, which is good for 10 years. And my recommendation to Maria is as soon as the five years hit the clock to become a U.S. citizen, because obviously she's been in the U.S. since she was eight years old. So uh, she has been uh, in, in the U.S. and her kids are U.S. citizens as well, her husband. So Maria, thank you very much for exercising your right thank to you. seek, uh, you know, going to a hearing and seeing a judge and that um, you were able to, to stay afloat and, and that we were able to get you out yeah. of it. Finally, you get Finally, your, you your legal residency, and uh, God bless you, Maria. Thank you, Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you.